Oh, come on. First time on stage. Give this guy a hand. Rob Cotler, let's hear it for him. He's going to be great. Thank you. God, Dennis is huge. If he painted him green, he'd be me if I got angry. I just made that up, I swear it's not. <laughs> I would take this out, but I'm too nervous to even regroup this thing. Uh, I'm a member of a competitive cycling club, and I thought that would make me feel manly, but for some reason it just doesn't. I don't know if it's the tight spandex, the shaved legs, or the uh, sports bra. <laughs> I used to work at a uh, Chevy dealership. One day I came in early and I saw the porter watering the plants in the showroom. And I said to him, you really shouldn't water that one so much. And he asked me why. And I said, well, because that one's plastic. And he said, oh, I just realized something else. That's why the fruit basket in the, in the break room tastes so waxy. <laughs> the dealership was in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. And uh, quite a few of our customers were in the mafia. So we had a special 12,000 mile service. We changed the oil, rotated the tires, and hosed the blood out of the trunk. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard this before, but uh, I recently had a colonoscopy and to have a little fun before I went, I had my wife take a black magic marker and write on my butt, be gentle. <laughs> when we got back home and I was changing, we noticed that the uh, doctor had uh, erased what I had written and she had drawn an arrow on my butt and wrote, been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> At my age, I'm... Uh, Unfortunately, pretty much running out of uh, sexual fantasies. I hit rock bottom the other night when I pleasured myself while thinking of Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Let's just say on her, I use the minority whip. <laughs> the other night I got to bed with my wife and she said, uh, So Rob, uh, you want the usual? And I said, no, honey, tonight, let's do something a little different. So she switched the channel to Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I recently received a Japanese orchid as a present. Who couldn't believe how much uh, care this plant requires? You don't water a Japanese orchid. You put three ice cubes in the pot. And you have to warm up the plant food before you put it in the soil. But I told my wife, there's no way I'm taking this flower down to the florist for a play date. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm pre-apologizing for this joke. It's a long joke and I will never remember it, so I'm going to mess it up, but let's try it. <laughs> I'm an analog man in the digital world. I have an actual newspaper delivered to my house every day. I listen to vinyl records still. I use paper maps. I use the uh, I use yellow pages. Oh my god, I just dropped <laughs> I think the internet is just a fad. <laughs> I don't have an iPad, but I do have an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> I don't tweet, text, instant message, DM, Skype, WhatsApp, Snapchat. I don't have a... I'm not through this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't remember this, I'm too old. <laughs> I don't have an account on Facebook. LinkedIn, MySpace, Instagram, Flickr, Friendster, Tumblr, Bebo, Vine, Remember, Grinder, And I get my pornography the old-fashioned way. I look at my neighbor's window. I used to have a pair of Wilson tennis sneakers, which I just love. And I was so disappointed to find out they were discontinued. Soon after, I went on a trip. When I was flying home, I put the Wilsons inside my luggage. I get home, and it's a note from the TSA. It says, we confiscated your shampoo because it's over four ounces. And we took your, your men's hand cream because that's just disgusting. <laughs> and we took your Wilsons because, well, you know, they're discontinued. <laughs> Our son is a, a junior in high school, and uh, he's starting to talk about what colleges he might want to go to. And uh, he said he also might want to be in a fraternity. My wife and I got nervous. We're like, he's lived a pretty sheltered life. We have to teach him how to drink. I said, I can handle that. She said, we have to teach him how to take drugs. I said, I can handle that too. And she said, 
who wants to teach them how to have sex? And she said, you better let me handle this one. <laughs> We thought we had bed bugs in our house, and so we hired one of those uh, inspection companies that bring a dog, and the dog sniffs around the house to find the bed bugs. The guy shows up with the dog, and he runs right over to my wife, and he sticks his nose right in her crotch. I look at the guy and said, what's the story with this? And he says, well, the good news is you don't have bed bugs. The bad news is your wife has a boyfriend. <laughs> I received uh, one of those birthday cards with a singing computer chip in it. So you open it up and it sings happy birthday to you. And I was thinking, you should put those singing chips in other products. Like they could have it in men's hand cream. Are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> or early pregnancy test. No. Baby, what a big surprise. <laughs> right before my very eyes. <laughs> or Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Fat bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. <laughs> Get in the bison ride. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.